the human heart for kids. Take a moment and put your hand on the left center of your chest. Do you feel something? It is your beating heart. Let's learn some amazing facts about the heart and how it works. The heart is one of the most important organs in the body and is essential for survival. About the size of a fist, it is located on the left side of the body, behind the breastbone, in an area called the sternum. The heart is also protected by the rib cage. The heart is part of the circulatory system. It is the process that circulates or moves blood to and from the heart. This system carries vital oxygen and nutrients to every cell in the human body. The two main parts of the circulatory system are blood vessels, which include arteries, veins, and capillaries, and the heart. Unlike other muscles in the body, the heart beats automatically. This means you don't have to think about making your heart beat. It just does it for you automatically. This is because your heart is controlled by the autonomic nervous system. In fact, in 24 hours, your heart averages around 115,000 beats per day. And in that same amount of time, the six quarts of blood in your body travels 12,000 miles. That's the equivalent of driving across the United States from coast to coast four times. That is amazing. The average heartbeat of a kid is around 90 beats per minute and will be faster or slower based on what you're doing. When you are moving your body, your heart beats faster because your body needs more oxygen. And when you're resting, your heart beats more slowly. Let's look more closely at how the heart functions. There are four main parts to the human heart. The left and right ventricles are at the bottom of the heart. The left and right atriums are at the top. Blood is pushed from the atriums into the ventricles on each side of the heart as small valves open and shut during every heartbeat. Think of them as little gates that open and close each time the heart beats. These gates make sure the blood flows in the right direction. Let's follow the path blood takes through the heart. These drops of blood have just come from the lungs and are now oxygenated, meaning they are full of oxygen and are ready to go. They come from the lungs and are pumped through the left side of the heart, through this gate, and then are spread throughout the entire body by blood vessels. Think of blood vessels like little train tracks taking blood where it needs to go. Choo-choo! Next stop, kidneys! Once the blood has traveled throughout the body, they come back. But now, to the right side of the heart. Just like before, from up here, through the gate. And then these drops of blood are pumped back to the lungs to gather more oxygen. And do the same thing again. As blood is moved through your body, through the circulatory system, it not only carries the oxygen your body needs, but other important things as well, like food, minerals, and vitamins. These things help your body move, grow, and make repairs. It also helps you think. The stuff in your blood that your body does not need is sent out as waste through your lungs, kidneys, and liver. Here's a fun fact. The trip for a drop of blood to travel throughout your body takes only about one minute. Since the heart is a necessary part of the body, it is important to care for it and keep it healthy. Here are some ideas to keep your heart healthy and working for a long time. Exercise. The heart is a muscle, and just like other muscles in your body, exercise can help it become stronger. Eat your vegetables and fruits. Like exercise, food affects your heart too. Eating lots of vegetables and fruits help keep your arteries clear to help blood flow through your body and more efficiently. Drink plenty of water. Keeping yourself hydrated by drinking water is essential to keeping your heart pumping blood. This is because 75% of your brain and heart are made up of water and your blood is about 83% water. 
which means you need to drink water to keep your heart healthy. Remember to move. Sometimes when we are doing homework or watching a screen, you might forget to get up and move around. It is important to take breaks and move your body. It's good for your heart and your mind. The human heart is a pretty cool organ. As part of the circulatory system, it pumps your blood through your body and carries oxygen, nutrients, and minerals to all of your cells. The coolest part? You can help make your heart stronger. So the next time you go to a friend's house or to school, see if it's safe to walk or ride your bike instead of drive. And make sure you drink plenty of water. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.